Life is tough. So let's go on a holiday and paint minis. I'm not even kidding, about both parts in fact. I am going on a holiday this week with my family and you get to join me. Join me in the sense of come along for the ride and watch the video. Don't actually come on the holiday. I don't know how I'd explain to my wife while you're sitting in the back seat of the car. So get out. And the second part, life is tough. There are times when we need to take a break from this hobby to be able to manage real life. But then there's also times when we can turn to the hobby for relaxation. I'm getting ahead of myself already. I think I should probably focus on what sort of preparation I need to do for this trip. Oh my. Well, here is something special. It's not often I dip my toes into Forge World, so something must be up. Ah, there it is. This video is dual wielding as a VIP commission episode and a thought provoking holiday piece. Bold of me to think I can pull it off. Congrats to this month's winner, Austin, who has chosen for me to paint and gift him this iconic display capturing Warhammer's Horus Heresy conflict between Captain Gav. Gavi. Gavriel. Gavriel Loken and the second in command to Horus himself, Ezekiel Abaddon. Abaddon? Abaddon. Adidas. Nailed it. If you'd like to be a part of our giveaways and score yourself a mini of your choosing that's been painted by me, well, more on that later. My favourite part about Forge World models is not only are they really expensive, but you also have to trim a whole bunch of stuff off and wash them yourself. Also, I find that the resin is delicate and I'm not great at painting them. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, Austin, you're a real piece of super glue. Make sure you are using super glue and not plastic glue for your resin minis. Pro tip, you're welcome. The holiday part is coming, I'm pretty sure, maybe, but if I can perform these initial stages on my model all the way up to having them primed, then it can reduce a bunch of space in my luggage where I don't need spray cans and a bottle of PVA glue. I'm rolling with a sub-assembly again, which is simply the models not yet glued on the scenic base, and I've also removed their heads, because I'm villainous. The cool thing about some of these fancy Forge World characters is that you can build them in a way so they are on their gaming base for when you want to roll dice, and you can slide them into the big fancy display base for when they sit on the shelf. This will create some gaps, so I've made the decision to close it all up and blend the rubble to the base with sand, because I'm aware that Austin wants this as a display. Well okay, let's do this. The car is loaded up and we are headed on a short vacation, only a couple of hours drive from home. I find that overseas trips become harder to manage and a few and far between when you have tiny humans in your life, so something local and simple can be perfect. I can usually negotiate a plastic tub this size to squeeze into the car, and within I have everything I need for a week's worth of painting. Some models, brushes, paints, and a wet palette. When the boys were born, we discovered that short trips in the car up to around eight hours travel time was manageable, and we'd look for somewhere that we could afford, take the pooch, and kick back for a week. The activities are usually really basic stuff. Plenty of scenic walks, cafes, and board games. You can go all out, but we found that the kids were too young to remember any of the trips, which is evident by the fact that about a month after we'd returned each time, they would refuse to acknowledge that any holiday occurred. Good thing I hadn't forked out on something like Disneyland just yet. <laughs> Unpacked, settled in, and once the kids are asleep, I'm putting down a black base coat to give a uniform, neat look after my light prime. We're in a beautiful part of the world, which is the Australian Alpine region. The weather is cold, but the sun is out, and the best part for our international viewers is that the 976 variations of venomous snakes and ducks that try to kill you in Australia are nowhere to be seen. It's the ideal conditions to forget about the rest of the world. No work, no emails. I heard the analogy once that stress in your life is like a bucket slowly filling up with water. The goal is not to let your bucket overflow and cause you to collapse. Instead, Find healthy ways to empty your bucket or poke holes in it. Each time a new stress arrives and adds more volume, allocate the time to empty some out. And if you have someone that you are sharing the journey with, make sure you give time to them to empty theirs.
painting little plastic action dollies? Well, it turns out that is one of my ways. Around six or seven years ago, I discovered it by chance whilst working a stressful job. I hadn't heard of Warhammer or mini painting since I was a kid, but I crossed paths with someone that collected Warhammer. We wouldn't stay in contact long, and as a parting gift to this individual, I wanted to paint them a model that could be something small and positive during a dark period of their life. I discovered a few things during this endeavor. One was that this hobby is damn hard and what on earth had I got myself into? I opened this video talking about how difficult I find Forge World Resin to work with, and now the ironic thing is that flashback seven years ago, that was the first model I ever attempted to paint that being a Forge World Leviathan Dreadnought. But importantly, the other thing I discovered is at the time I spent sitting in my study quietly painting this model, I wasn't thinking about the stress of my work. I wasn't thinking about the challenges that come with being a parent. I was poking holes in my bucket and relaxing. So once I gift wrapped the model and handed it over, I was sitting at home that night. I paused for a moment and realized that I was eager to pick up my brush again and start on a new model. As I talk about this, it sounds like I'm saying that being a recluse and hiding in the dark is the answer. I don't think it is. I honestly believe that there's nothing better than finding someone that you can talk to if you are feeling the weight of the world. But once support is in place, it's essential to have a self-care plan where you can manage yourself. My approach with mental health has always been to treat trauma and stress as a physical injury. If I tear a chest muscle doing the whole pressing of the bench with thousands of kilograms, I'd go see a doctor. My mates would tell me to see a doctor. I'd likely take time off work, have some painkillers, and probably have my arm in a sling or something. I don't know how chest muscles work. But my point being that no one looks twice. There's no stigma attached to physical injuries. But once someone's bucket fills up and they have a mental health injury, everyone gets a bit funny about it. It's harder for friends to talk about it. It's hard to go see your doc. It shouldn't be. It should be exactly the same, right? Ask for help and be there to offer help. Maybe all we need is to occasionally venture into these beautiful areas of the world. Areas that remain untouched by man. Ah. Oh. Maybe Abaddon just needs someone to reach out and ask how he's traveling. Abaddon? Abaddon. Abadabadoo. I share this hobby with you guys and girls, but as I get a little older and a little more open about the hobby, I now get to share it with my tiny family. Hobby hang out with the boys can be our afternoon quiet time after a morning's adventure and on the weekends whilst we're relaxing at home. Lego, Warhammer, Pokemon, you name it. If it's dorky and it takes you to your happy place, there's space for it at the table. Now my wife will never be caught dead watching these videos, but a special shout out for her for helping me find the time for these hobby escapes in our busy schedule, and even going as far as sending me across the globe to climb mountains when I needed a serious break from work while she wrangled the savages. Alcohol, cigarettes, and the love of the emperor are all short-term solutions. Whilst I do believe that you need to find what works for you and in moderation you can treat yourself, I've found that the high that I get from physical activity will last me the whole day. Also explains my absolutely chiseled physique. Seven days away. Seven days of scenic walks, coffees, a lack of workplace responsibilities, but a whole load of mini painting. I think I'm refreshed and ready to come home. So what do we learn? That Loken and Abaddon hate each other? Probably. Abby a boy. But there's no hate in our hobby discord. It's a place that you can come and hang out, chat about your favourite aspects of the hobby and show off pictures of what you're working on at the moment. We look after one another and we have these fantastic painting competitions. Whilst you check out this month's entries, I'll tell you a little about what makes these competitions so enticing. The key selling points are that it's free to enter, you don't need to be the best painter to win because our winner's name is drawn by spinning the wheel of justice, you get to select anything from your painting backlog and the prize, well you get to nominate a model and I'll buy it, paint it and post it around the world to you. If you'd like to come be a part of this community then I'll add a discord link in the description and pinned in the comments below.
and thank you to these amazing patron members. With your forces combined, you managed to shout my wife a very fancy cocktail whilst we're away and score me some very appreciated brownie points. Now, any risk of me just shutting up and showing you how the model turned out? Let's do it. No longer wishing, wishing, you're my lucky strike. Love the way you ride. Look into my eyes, say you're ready to go. Million dollar life, yeah. we can roll the dice. Yeah. I like your surprise, but you already know. Oh yeah, got lucky, got lucky overnight. Austin. You are an amazing contributor in our Discord community and I know that you have big plans this year and between you and me, I can't wait to hear how you go with it all. Be sure to take time to look after your lady, look after your pooches and of course, empty your bucket. Now get out of here, all of you. Auf Wiedersehen. No longer wishing, wishing, you're my lucky.